Kawasaki Ninjas rule! Well, welcome, Street Kings. Here we are in St. Louis, ish. I think. Uh, different I don't know. Like board. This looks like the set of a Better Call Saul episode. Like it looks like a kind of place where Gus would have you shot. I yeah. mean, it's a nice place. Don't get me wrong, but it also there's just something a little off. <laughs> <laughs> Am I, am I right about that? Or it does right? look like, like a scene from like Boys in the Hood or something like that. It's got like, a lot like, of character. Yeah. For a Scorsese, Scorsese film. Yeah, there we go. We are here today with the man, the myth, the legend. Of course, we're talking about Nasty Nate Barron. Uh, nasty Nate. Hey, guys, how's it going? Thanks you for having me. This Do you not like the Nasty Nate I have moniker? no problem with Nasty okay, Nate. You I call don't me whatever you want. A lot of people get weird about that it, shit. It, people it haven't Nate called dog. me that in a long time. <laughs> I heard that name in a long time. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was Nate Dog before that. You were. I loved the Regulator song. That was my first CD I ever owned. But yeah, like sixth grade, and then he, when that song came out, I was like, okay, that's my name now. You know, no, I didn't. I didn't give it to myself. It's just like that's whatever. You know, the whitest thing about me is I found out he was dead like a year ago. Oh no! Really? Yeah, I swear to God, it was what? just it was one of those pop culture knowledge bits that just slipped through my you know my fingers. I just what? didn't know. I, I just found out uh, some. I can't remember who it is. Some fucking some broad died. Some bro. Like, you Clearly, she meant a lot yeah. to you. <laughs> just found out some broad <laughs> died. Give a moment of silence for that. Wow. Yeah, Thanks for bringing that to the show, Josh. Yeah, from the, from the dead broads right oh, wait, no. Stephen Rolf Powell, person you will not know, but like a big <laughs> fucking glass blower. It was like a Farrah Fawcett type situation. Like when Farrah Fawcett, when Farrah Fawcett died, Michael Jackson died the same day. Same day, yeah. So it's like no one knew that Farrah you, know, you know who else that was? Johnny Cash and um, John Ritter died the same fucking day. John Ritter, young guy, he was like 50 years old. Because they were the same person. I, mean, I was just saying the other day, I, I miss John Ritter. I do too, man. He was, but that's kind of, kind of, it's. Problem Child, we miss you. <laughs> yeah, I'm Problem sure. Child I don't two. think Problem mm -hmm. Child 2 was John Ritter's finest. <laughs> like, he was the most proud of that shit. I just right watched there. Sling Blade the other night. Great fucking. Movie. John Ritter and Sling Blade? Yeah, yeah so he's, he's him gay. And Dwight Not funny, ha ha, funny queer. I'm just going <laughs> to say that I find that offensive. Yeah. I feel like in my head that was a really good impression. Lord would send a good man like you to Hades. Mm. We ain't got no fucking band, Randy. <laughs> there was a great movie. I've, I, like, it was a shitty 80s movie, but one of the greatest comedy scenes of all time happened with John Ritter. He's trying to bang this chick with a glow-in-the-dark condom, and they turn the lights off, and you only see the condom. <laughs> but then another man sneaks in the room thinking that John Ritter's no longer banging the chick, but he's wearing a glow-in-the-dark condom. Ooh. So you just see these two erect, glowing penises chase each other. Fantastic Weird. fucking movie. Talk about two's a company, three's a crowd. There we go. Three's a company, two's a guy. I forget to sing. How'd it go? You're a comedian yeah, down here close. in the St. Louis area, <laughs> Nate Barron. You're a fan of this show. You actually messaged us. Uh, a couple of. Uh, I think he's a fan of you. I don't think he's uh, heard of this show. Well, most people. I listened are fans to the last podcast with Corey. Corey Stewart. It was nice. really good. It was yeah. really funny. You guys, you guys made me. You guys made me chuckle quite a few times. And right, we'll take we, it. we mentioned you in it, and in the conversation, yeah. we mentioned not only are you full of ideas and you're a funny guy, but you also, and you mentioned this on stage, I believe, you've been to prison. <laughs> and um, <laughs> what? What? You said you wouldn't talk about that. <laughs> no, but I. But the reason that we're having this conversation is that you hit us up and you were like, "Hey, uh, you know, yeah, hey, you know, good show. Yeah, I was in prison, and I was like, hey, do you, would you mind talking about that? You know, because Corey had all of her, you know, fucking experiences as a lawyer, as a roller girl, you know, and." You, you've been uh, fucking beating people's asses in the joint. I've been, I've been, I've been felonious. I was a fixer. I was like, well, I, was, I was 20, no, I was 20 years old. Yeah, it's just for selling drugs. It's nothing cool. Yeah. It's nothing tough. I don't know. Selling drugs is pretty bad. That's, that's kind of cool. Baller, though, it is cool. That's kind of like know? the coolest way. Because that's, yeah. that's harmless. Well, well yeah. it's, Unless you're fucking kneecapping motherfuckers. Well, I shot three people. I do always <laughs> say if you're going to have a felony, you want to be a drug. You want to have yeah. a drug. Because, I mean, what, everything else looks shitty. Yeah. Right. You're, you're a thief. Yeah. Oh, you touch kids, whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah right. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. It's yeah. just like you can be. It, 
be a drug dealer, you could be redeemed. Yeah, that's street right. credential, but still, yeah, yeah, redeemable, exactly. Yeah, right, right. Like, I can still date chicks, and, like, they're cool with it, but, like, you know, I can still watch their kids, though, if they need me to. Mm -hmm. Dude, you say they're I cool with I can watch it. them watch their kids so hard. That shit's got to make them wet, man. I was, you were in prison for drugs? Oh, my God. Oh, the fact that I'm not, a, like, a sexual predator or, yeah. or a violent... Yeah, <laughs> not that should turn caught. To, that should be, like, on my... Yeah, right? That should be my, like... like if you're... If you haven't, like, got a sexual assault charge or anything, you, you need to... Go ahead and get get that out there, cause that's that. Right. If you're a five, that's that out there. That, if you're a five, that jacks you up to an easy seven, I man. Love I love that you want to get that at the top of this podcast. I just want to get it out there. That I do not have a sexual assault charge. Oh man, you can look it up, man. Look me up. It's all over. I mean, you <laughs> Check know. me out. I'm in the book. Oh, I got dates. <laughs> Hit me at it at date dog <laughs> underscore five seven three in my. Casenet.com. I love the way that you came at it, though. Like, we asked you about it, and you were like, yeah, man, I, I've been to drugs, but it's no, or I've been to prison. It's no big deal. Like, anything else? Did you, did, were you, where, did you did something probably when you were 20. <laughs> I mean, went somewhere. College, Marine, I don't know. High school served, kids. I mean, somebody, I Dropped know. out of college when I was 20. I was making a lot of smart fucking decisions. You want to talk about decisions? Yeah. <laughs> I got a, I went to community college for a semester. No, like I said, I just 20 years old, which is... I got caught selling Xanax. That's the thing, Xanax is. I, yeah. I got caught selling pills. So it wasn't even like it was like some hard ass crack street no, drug. No, it was, it was like some pills or that's. It's some Grey's Anatomy fucking, you know, like that kind yeah. of shit. But that's, that's considered like as heavy as. No, 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 I know it is. I know what it is. But what I'm saying is it wasn't like he was slanging crack out of the back of a fucking right. El yeah. Camino or something. Well, it's no, not, no, it's no, not, like, yeah, it's no like. Breaking bad or Sure, no, no, no. But I mean, like, so like, had you been doing it for a while? Was no. it your, oh, is this for your real? profession, nah. your side gig? No, nah, I hadn't been doing it for a while. I wasn't ever a drug dealer. It was just, happened. It was a, just one of those things. But to go to prison, like, on a first time. Oh, I didn't get on the first time. But that's the thing. Yeah, hold on. I didn't get that. Oh, part. okay. <laughs> oh, yeah, we, have, we haven't gotten there yet. I was, okay. put on, I was put on probation first. Right. And then I fucked that up. And then I fucked up. You know, then I, okay. Put on probation. Well, how, let's back up real back quick. Up. How'd you get caught? Because I want to know, like, the Cameras. fucking the butthole clinching moment Cameras where you find this shit out. Someone, someone kind of helped them and then, uh, you know. So you're saying that somebody stooged you off, like somebody who knew you were selling it probably got caught themselves yeah, and they were like, yeah. hey, man, look, I don't want to get in trouble. Let me tell you the guy who's selling well, it. Well, like, no, well, other than like that, he didn't go to him. He didn't volunteer. It was just one of those things that he got caught up for something. You know? Right. And right, he's right. like, hey, but oh, whoa, whoa, they bear down the street. I can do yeah. oh, Okay, yeah. One Shit, of those man. things. And. Were you, were you boom, tight with be, that guy that fucked you over? Nah, kind of, not really. So it didn't piss you off? How, I mean, how long I were you? Yes, yeah. Right. How long were you doing it I for? I still was doing it, yeah, like maybe a, I wouldn't even like necessarily sell it. I mean, it was one of those things like he's just the guy that was just there, like, yeah, I'll, get, I'll sell you a couple real quick. Oh, uh, one of those? One of those scenarios. It was, it was never like a. Really? I never paid a bill or anything. Really, man. Just, so it wasn't even like this was your gig, like you were just kind of doing it in nah. the side and went to God. Dude, damn. I've seen people at a bar before, uh, Fuck. dude trying to like. Buy a gram or something off of somebody, and he's like, "No, I'll just give you some for that exact reason." And at the for, time, I can, I'll give you some weed, yeah. but I'm not gonna fucking sell it. Sell, to yeah, you. exactly. Wow. It's like I'll give you a nug or that's whatever, crazy, but right? not. That's, fucking that's crazy, mm -hmm. man. But like, I forgot what I was gonna say. No, so about. so, uh, what, did they mic him up or something when he? No, came? it wasn't like it wasn't anything like that. Was he like, "Hello, I would like some yeah. drugs, Ab please." Abra <laughs> that scene in, uh, yeah, you're like, "There's a code word, man. The no, doves just, are out tomorrow." It was nothing like that. All I had to <laughs> <laughs> the doves are out tomorrow. Yeah, all he had to do is like he wrote a statement on me and stuff because he got caught up with something, and then they kind of laid and just. Yeah, and then they kind of like, like they processed it, all that stuff. Yada yeah. yada. Came they knock on your door. Is that what happened? No, they called me and asked me to come in. I was like, okay. Did they tell you why? No, they didn't tell me. Hey, Mr. Barron, uh, <laughs> we got something for you down here. All right. I believe you were selling Zanny bars. Yeah, those Alprazolams. Wow. So you get you get there, they tell you about it, and then you don't go to prison though. They put you on probation. Right, because I'm first first time. You know, never. never right, got sure, in trouble. sure. White guy. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, 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 that, that helps. That helps. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. You know, white privilege there. They're, 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 they're just. Get it out there. So you're 21 <laughs> years old. Yeah, around that 21. Yeah. How? Uh, what? Well, like, where was your life at at this point? Okay. Yeah, I'm down in Bon Terre, Missouri. Okay, you working? Yeah. Or is this your gig? No, this wasn't my gig. Okay. I was I was working, still doing mm -hmm. that stuff, going to college. Just okay. Doing regular oh, things. you're a college kid too. Okay. Kind of. I mean, I mean, I, I dipping your toe. Community college. Yeah. Sure, okay. Sure. Mineral area college. The you know, making making slow progress. This is not putting I mean, a life again, together. When I hear, "Hey, I went to prison for selling drugs years ago," I'm picturing, you know, I'm not, I'm not again, I'm not picturing gang banging Nate, but I'm picturing like. You know, Nate's got you know, a he's piece. He's got a thug life tattoo on yeah, his stomach. Yeah, Nate's got a piece, and Nate's, you know, fucking, that's his I, deal, I man. I have a prison tattoo. For real? Yeah. No shit. Lower back. Is it just a tattoo that says prison? Or yep. <laughs> no, it's it's on my leg. What is it? It's a skull with wings on it. Are you serious? You want to see it? Yeah, man. Okay. You have an Ed Hardy tattoo? Yep. <la
fucking love it. I also what? have a jailhouse X Men tattoo. This is the second what? tattoo we've <laughs> showed on this podcast. Oh shit! Oh, Ooh. nice. I fucking like that, man. Dude, I like that. The jailhouse. And X-Men. you have an X Men tattoo. <laughs> <laughs> so you say jailhouse? You mean that some dude no, gave it? Yeah. That one, the the X Men you got in in prison. No. Yeah, no. the X Men one, like that could have easily been a swastika that you then converted. I, to an I just changed my mind the last <laughs> second. I was like, <laughs> I was like ah, you know, I'm all right. I don't think this is gonna. I don't think it's the best investment. I don't know yeah. if this is gonna pan out yeah. right here. Yeah. yeah no. <laughs> Thank God X Two just came out. Yeah, really. you know, I don't want to blame yeah. it on nine eleven, but it certainly didn't help. Man. Sure. No, I get that shit, man. So what the the skull with the is it kind of like your liberation tattoo? I or don't whatever? know. No, nothing like no. I guess if I were to go with something like that, like I'd go like the whole duality, uh-huh. good versus mm-hmm. evil. I don't know. If, yeah. Right. I kind of I was always into like no, this can be a, kind of a weird reach, but like like Lecter, Sons of Lambs, I always kind of dug. Obviously, I don't dig cannibalism, but like, right. you know, that's, you like eating people. Like the movie Seven, like they kind of justify their, yeah, their their psychopath or Joker. Some men just want to yeah. watch the, right. or you know, teach you a lesson because you're a dick. Right, right. But yeah. anyway, oh, understanding the mentality behind the darkness. So I was kind of dig that, like, like that. The, that balance. Mm-hmm. So yeah, no. So that's so why you're there. But there's but, not that much thought into it. Really. But you say that's your prison tattoo. What do you mean by that? That's your prison tattoo. Got it in prison. I didn't. I didn't. I'm sorry. I didn't realize that. Oh, I'm sorry. No, I'm no, he was not in prison. Yeah, yeah how uh, how'd they do it? He did this one with the guitar string <laughs> and uh, the uh, <laughs> baby oil. Like you melt down, uh-huh. you burn the baby oil, and you scrape off the suit. Okay. Suit, suit, suit. Yeah, uh-huh. yeah. And then, yeah was, mm, wow. And then he got the so motor he, out of the Walkman. Okay, so he had a Walkman. He, so everyone he, is a thing where you used to have. You put a cassette in. So he had the Jerry rigged uh, the actual. Sure, prison. Yeah, the prison. Crazy that he actually called. had a, a real mechanism. He oh, actually yeah. had a real mechanism that he took out of a Walkman and he put into a guy. Wow, that's bad fucking ass. Damn, man. and it looks good. Like what? it doesn't look fucking oh, yeah. Jerry yeah. rigged together. Cost me a together. can of, cost me a can of bugler. It's a fucking Loose tobacco. Bugler. Oh. oh god damn, bugler's good shit too, man. I was yeah. a I was a red. Uh, was it Red Man? Yeah. Red Man, yeah. Red Man was lighter. But that's what? chew tobacco, chewing tobacco. Mm-hmm. This is like you roll roll your own like the Oh, oh yeah. okay, I got you. you roll shit. your own cigarettes. Mm-hmm. What year was this? This was 2004. Yeah, wow. busted, oh, 2006. Sorry. Yeah, busted no Cuz I got cuz I fucked up. I, I mean, I fucked up my probation. Yeah, that's what we're talking about. Yeah, no, we're going to get to I would hold on. You were going to we'll get there cuz yeah. on my probation, they gave me probation. Yeah. And then I fucked that up. Well, they gave me a 120 treatment. What's that? What does that mean? It's kind of like you go to prison, but you're going to have to do substance abuse classes and shit the whole oh, time. Oh, okay, okay. So for four months, la, la, la. Then I get out, and I get probation again. because, But this time, I got a big old backup, a 15-year backup. If I fuck up again, if I mess up. Oh, okay. So, and wow. then I mess up again. They're, they're, no shit. Yeah, man. Really? Right, yeah. Wait, wait a minute. So you're saying you went twice? Yeah, kind of, yeah. So you, so you went once for four months, did yeah. the rehab deal, yeah. got out, and then like, what What made you keep... Or would you just keep selling? You keep getting no, possession? I just, you no, keep- I was just smoking weed. I would. I think you did. All you did was smoke yeah, weed, dude. That's, that's all. And I'm not trying to put pull. I mean, they sent me back. I'm a dumbass. I'm not gonna lie, but at the same time, I'm like, man. Yeah, you're in a red state. Yeah. So you yeah, fucked yeah, well, up your probation. But we were also hot. in the drug. Ep- you know, we were in the drug like epidemic, like the meth. Shit like yeah, this yeah. Areas. Meth anyone who had charges would get yeah. fucking booked. But it's such bullshit. It's just we. I mean, obviously, I know I'm preaching to the choir here, but goddamn, it's just so fucking nuts. Now man. it's it's very innocuous. It's not. I don't think. Now it. You don't think they do that? that now? Would, I don't. There's no way. They're first, they first can't afford to keep people locked up like they so, are. And two, I'm like, it's pot. So, so also you, the culture shifted. That's what I'm saying. Because it's they like, all the it's, a whole, it's weird. It's how innocuous it is. All now. the bullshit they pushed toward everyone, and then everyone grew up and like, oh, that was all bullshit. The war on drug era. Yeah. How long were you on probation? Before you went to prison, dude, I dealt with all this shit for like eleven years. So time. Jesus fucking Christ! How long man. were you on probation before you went to prison the first time? I think I see before. Before I did like uh, probably less than a year. So I'm, less than a year, and then you go to prison for pissing hot, for smoking weed. A couple, a couple times. I mean, we, I mean, okay. my dumbass just kept like didn't want to stop smoking. You know, obviously. So you didn't go to prison the first time that you that they caught you for smoking. No, weed. I mean it's a system. Like, okay, yeah, I got okay. put on house arrest for a while. Then I got put. Then they gave me like a fourteen day jail shock thing. I, wow. I was a knucklehead. So all this has happened. Yeah. So 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 you're smoking weed and then you get the house arrest. Yeah. And then while you're on house arrest, I end up getting done with house arrest. Like I completed. But still, yeah. But, but a little bit later on, you yeah. smoked more weed and yeah, then yeah, something like that. <laughs> oh my yeah. god. Or like I think I got caught drinking or something. Something weird. It wasn't, I didn't catch any other charges. The jail thing, like, what was that? Fourteen days? Because that's the first time that you're really incarcerated. Did that fuck you up at all? I mean, it's it's yeah, it's it's always scary. Because I've heard the jail's worse than prison. It all depends. It's I guess it's it's just boring. It's really boring. There's no I mean shitty food and it's a lot of douchebags. Do you get any fights? 
Not then, but later on, yeah. In prison, you did. Oh yeah. What happened in prison? No, just fight, just you know, just fucking stupid shit. Like, kind of, yeah. Just, hey man, you ain't watching the Price is Right. Kind I'm of, Jeopardy, yeah. Over petty, sh- it'd be over petty shit like that or something like that. Yeah, it'd be weird. Like, hey man, you about to on the phone? Hey man, fuck off. Hey, all right, let's. <laughs> it's like shit like that. Like shit no. getting elevated yeah, for but I mean, not, no it reason. Wasn't, it wasn't a regular thing because I'm not a violent person. Right, My, right. You know, but I mean, it's I, mean, I, I flourished pretty like. like I was able to jail, as I say, jail. Yeah. You know, I was able to do, you know, I didn't have any problems or anything, but, like, I did, but it's just, like, not like, but it's, like, kind of like out here, how you just get into yeah. scuffles with people, but sure. I didn't have anything crazy, crazy happen. I could have, but I didn't. All this time that you're pissing hot and you're mm-hmm. going, like, did you, were you mad at yourself? Or oh, you, yeah, I mean, for sure. I mean, right, I'm, I mean a fucking, I'm a little kid, drug addict kid, whatever, you know? Is that, I mean, is that the reason? Were you just literally addicted to weed? No, it wasn't, well, it wasn't just weed. I was drinking. I was doing everything. You know, I was just, just bar, I was, bar, wh- I was bar, wh- partying, you know? Whatever to right, I mean, but, um, get there. It was just young, fucking, literally just dumb as fuck. And were you just, getting fucked up every day all the oh, time? Oh, pretty much, or was it yeah, just the for weekend? sure. So you're just, you're just fucking... Yeah, you don't go to prison for fucking just hanging out, you know, for like doing good deeds. Did you, I mean, so did you ever like fucking quit? I mean, did you ever go, this is it, I'm fucking done with this shit? Oh, I'm yeah, when I went to prison. <laughs> yeah, prison helped. Actually, I smoked for a while until like, until like, yeah. like, could you get drugs? That's mm-hmm. like trailer park yeah, boys. Find what you're looking for. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, they're more authentic it's a society, with it than like yeah. Oz. Yeah. What's so funny because like, one of the episodes where Ricky talks about, hey man, prison's whatever you make it, man. Like, first time I was in prison, I was partying all the time. And it, it, <laughs> prison's not like it used to I be. I literally, I say that, it is what it's what you make of it. It's just like a little <laughs> other little community and that's what the fucking razor wire fence is keeping you in. Mm-hmm, yeah. And, but they sent me to level five. What's maximum that? security. Why they said you Why? Didn't. Because of the time. Because I it, hadn't had it. This is where it gets a little weird, like hard to explain, but because I, I didn't have a conditional release date, a CR date. They give you your sentence and then you have a CR date, which is usually 85% of that date. So okay, that's their guesstimate date. Right. So if I'm a violent guy and I get 15 years, and that was I'm yours? Tw- was no, I wasn't violent. So I'm going to have to do 85% of that no matter what. Okay. Since I was a drug case, Missouri right. had 0%. You know, on the mandatory, but they also have the mandatory minimums. Right. Mm-hmm. This is where this is where like the whole industrial prison. Uh, oh yeah. This yeah. is where I mean we get real, real fucked up. Uh, yeah. Right. But um and. Uh, well, the fact that I mean, like, let's be honest here. You essentially went to prison, goddamn prison, prison for for, for smoking weed, right? Drinking booze, but then level five, doing like, some blow. I'm assuming level five was life without us, rapers. You know, that was like death row, motherfucker. It got that fucking yeah. elevated. Fucking got that real, was real yours? Quick. Was yours considered a violent offense? No, no, it's not. But I had zero percent. Okay. Did, I didn't have an out date yet. So yeah, what you say? Our buddy so got busted. P- I see, when I saw when I would see the parole board, they were they would give me an out date. Yeah, that's when my level would drop. But okay. until then. They didn't, you know, they oh, had to go off it, it by 15 years. it defaulted to the heaviest one. Yeah, dude. Oh, okay. How, and when did you get out of there? When you finally got a date? Is that when you got out? Or I got a year out date when I finally saw the parole board after three years. Fuck. So it's after three, three so years? So for three years, you're on the worst level of the, of the prison yeah. with the violent offenders and all that shit. Yeah. Weird. And, man, yeah. that's fucking crazy. <laughs> and the fact that... <laughs> The fact that that's a big loophole, and guess what? It's probably, I mean, I'm sure, I'm assuming, I hope that it's at least attempted to have been fixed by now, but I'm assuming that the fact that that loophole existed was people were like, who gives a fuck? They're prisoners. Well, that's what happened when they, they, yeah. they It's they, hard to argue for them. That's, yeah. that's where, like, all the, the mass population, they built all these prisons, and then they realized we don't have bodies to fill these prisons. What the fuck? Better start so, lobbying. At least it's a. Just start charging everyone and send yeah. whoever. We gotta fill these yeah. beds because we're sure. not getting paid unless these beds are filled. Yeah, and I mean like yeah, and, that's and gross. That comes to you know a lot of conspiracy theory stuff is bullshit. That's absolutely true. That's not even conspiracy. Like, theory. No, that's I know just like reality. It, it, but it does dip off. It, I've seen you say that. I know it, this dip it, off and sounds like it could be conspiracy, but it's like it's just an industrial prison. Company. No, it really is, it is. If you look at when prisons were privatized in the mid '80s, and then take a look yeah. at all of the drug, yeah. the drug the law, the war on drugs, when that happened, and then the amount of People, especially uh, uh, minorities, that were you know what I'm saying? Like it's it's 2.7 million. There's 2.5 million people incarcerated right now, and 700,000 are nonviolent offenders. Yeah, mm-hmm. think about that. Pretty fucking wild. Think about yeah. that. It's just like it's what they did. Like it's what we you know like in the it's 80s, 90s. Up, like cause fucking our president's when he signed the bill. I yeah, mean, it's, I mean yeah. we went. He, it's, it was tough vote it for was. that motherfucker. I was like, it man, was, you guys man. are the reason. Yeah. A lot of people forget because, you know, Reagan spearheaded the Reagan economical up. bullshit, but yeah. fucking Clinton was right there wiping it up with, like, with being strong on the drug offenders. So. That's, the Democrats, had they didn't know how to, they couldn't beat Republicans, and they right. and they always platformed on tough crime. Yeah, and That's how they always won. So Democrats yep. like, well, we got to play the game. Yep. 
Boom. That's what they did. They went to tough crap, uh, tough crime platform. And sure, Clinton, we, we, three strike law. That's why you hear all that shit about Biden, like how how Biden is, you know, whatever made this baby face turn, and maybe he has, well, but no. does but, he though? I'm well, wondering. I don't, I don't I'm like, know. I don't. Is but, it genuine? Does it matter if it's genuine or does it? Because if, so, if I don't think it matters. I don't think a, it does because it, 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 because if he's do if he's getting done, still having real world effects, right? Yeah. If it's yeah. getting done, stuff like it's so fucking hard. It's a paradox. It's like right. Can't rather it's just like you are the reason, but at the same time, it's like, but they're realizing. I used to, th- I just thought this other thing. Oh, it's not necessarily a race thing anymore. Because I used to think that's what, sure, but a it's a funny thing. Because now you yeah. see all these guys who are back in like the, the you know, tough crime and all the strict uh, war on drug stuff. Now you see these guys, okay, money's not in prison anymore. Now yeah. the money's over here. Yeah. And now the money's being made in activism. Yeah. And, you know, so Nike, you know, you see the like, Black Lives Matter. What the yeah. fuck does Gillette have anything to do? Why do I need <laughs> Gillette? Right, right. Be right, the best right. man, be the best. Right. American, <laughs> whatever. Yeah, like, what? Well. Why do I have to hear about this stuff during my cold? You day big uh, WWE fan? I can't remember. You like wrestling? Or I not? can do it. Oh yeah, okay. I, I can watch a documentary on WWE right. or wrestling in general all day. I mean, I, I grew up with it for sure. The uh, ring announcer Justin Roberts, who got released years ago from there, he's working for AEW now. But he got a little upset. I mean, and again, it wasn't sore about the whole thing. I think he just was like showing everybody through this documentary that he made on YouTube. Uh, this is what it's like. Basically, Stephanie McMahon. Who's you know high up? She is Jugs high Mahoney, big old goddamn titties. Triple H's luck. Um, had this corporate edict where she said that basically, hey, the the real way to make money and make connections with the audience is through activism, and have ba- essentially how everything that they're doing is economically. Tra- I mean, which again, okay, good, you know what I'm saying, but it's all like it's it go it plays into what you're saying, right? And that the real money. Is 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 the you know Colin Kaepernick sneakers? You know what right, I'm saying? Right. Like that's yeah, the but, real money. That's right. where the real fucking. But you game take a Colin played. Kaepernick and you put him back in the '80s. We just lock him up for life without. And now think about it. Now. Oh like, my God! Can you fucking imagine? Charlie Daniels would have shot him and gotten away with it. I just found it when he died just recently. Yeah. I was like, oh shit. Colin just, Kaepernick? No. Charlie he's Daniels. Still rocking. He's still throwing football. Charlie Daniels is dead. Yeah. yeah well, he's, see, yeah, he just died. Yeah. I found out when I, I was like, I thought he was dead when he yeah. did mm-hmm. die. I'm like, oh. Today I, I found that. out that Charlie Daniels is still, was still alive. Charlie that. Daniels got some bangers. I don't yeah, agree the, with any of his political Devil anything. Down Georgia, all but, Devil down in Georgia. That's all pretty much all I know, too. I know, that's it. What else did he have? Something racist. <laughs> <laughs> no, Charlie Daniels wasn't that racist. Yeah, that, all, you know, he, wasn't, the, he wasn't David Allen co racist. Yeah, I was going to say. Yeah. Yeah. That's all the first time I ever heard a curse word. Was boogie woogie yeah. biddle country blues. What, what curse word did you hear for the first time? That pissed me off. Fucking jerk. Get on my nerves. Well, here comes... Johnny with his pecker in his hand, his one ball man, like that. Yeah, <laughs> I was like six, and I was like, he still got it. I was like, <laughs> see, it seems like something. Yeah, it's just like I was very uh, uncomfortable. I was wondering about that with David Allen Coe because I was listening to a couple of his songs, and I was like, man, like I remember when Kid Rock like did that whole deal where like he went on tour with him and he like sh- shouted out to him in his songs, like you know, David Allen Coe and No Show Jones. I remember thinking like. Like that's crazy that he had such blatantly racist songs and like he wasn't attempted. To yeah, get but canceled. his his racist songs were also tongue in cheek. Well, th- yeah. Supposedly, yeah, he had a fucking black fucking that's what guitar he player. He had, yeah, he had a black. Well, drummer. I mean, he also he tours with like Reverend Run. Oh yeah, no, yeah, but <laughs> I mean, really? Yeah, yeah, he's a big hip hop guy. I mean, he loves Run DMC and all that. Well, I'd know that. Kid really? Rock. No, no, no! I'm talking. I'm not talking about Kid Rock. I'm talking about David um, Allen Coe. David oh, Allen. David Allen Coe. I would love to see oh, Run DMC and David Allen Coe. I didn't know. I thought that we branched. I'm sitting here thinking Kid Rock. I didn't know we branched off into. No, no, no. Back no, into no. The- well, no, we're talking about David Allen Coe. But like, so I looked it up, and apparently he had been canceled, and the, and he lost the rights to all of his songs. Uh, yeah. Did you know that he wrote "Take This Job and Shove It"? Yeah. I didn't know that. Johnny Paycheck. It's a very yeah. Fam- well, he wrote that Johnny Paycheck story. song. Yeah. I didn't realize that. Yeah. And he wears a goddamn wig now. Yeah, because that was uh, that was the one that Cope? broke him. Yeah, He's born again Christian. I don't know, right? Um, they all are. They all claim to be. Who the? F- he also has fucking. I remember that. I think twenty one wives. He was married twenty one times. David Allen Coe was David married twenty one. <laughs> yeah. Did not know that. Mm-hmm. Wow. Mm-hmm. Michael Landon had nine children. The motherfucker lived. But how many? Twenty one. Wait, how many was the same? How many did he recycle? Michael. I'm not Good question. About, no one think I've heard anybody mention Michael Landon. Who the fuck and is Michael Landon? He was on Highway to Heaven. Little House on the Prairie. And Little House okay. on the Prairie. Yeah. Yeah. Bit, yeah. My cousin, my, my He dipped his toe in the rat pack world every every now okay. and then. My cousin's mom was such a big fan of him that she named her son after Michael Landon. It was Kyle Landon Maynard. Oh my god. <laughs> 
All right, we're, all right, we're veering into the weeds All right, here. you're right. Bob, we're Bob, we're Bob, back Bob, on Bob, track. Bob. All right, so yeah. how long? All right, you finally go to. The, what were you selling? You're selling Zannies. How many did you get busted selling? A thousand. And like how much? A thousand pills? Yeah. Jesus. I have a deal. I was gonna say pills That's or a milligrams. Lot. Okay. Yeah. So when, when okay you, when you got caught when you say that you got busted selling it, I heard oh because I'm thinking oh, okay what well, hey can I get a couple? I sure, heard like man. five. Well, that's kind of yeah. I mean, yeah. but to be honest, it's similar. It, a lot of it was for recreation. Like well, it was just for me. Like a thousand. Yeah, it's a lot. But I'm talking about. Sure. I, I invested for, yeah. for the year. Right. 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 <laughs> So you were buying a thousand, or you were I bought, selling? I just had them. I you bought, had, okay, yeah, yeah, okay, okay. I got, oh, I got, well, you I got, got busted. I got distribution. I got charged with distribution of a controlled substance. Okay. Attempt to distribute it. Yeah. Yeah. So that's a lot, though. A thousand. I mean. But it's like under the same uh, blanket as like meth and any drug. Yeah. yeah sure. So it's just like it's kind of weird how they do that. And you never got busted again selling anything. Never. I haven't. No, that's my one and only. And you never yeah. sold anything. No. So it all comes from the fact that you were smoking weed, drinking. Yeah, just being I'm a little dumbass, doing some animal. blow, doing shit like that. Do they catch yeah. you with that stuff in your system? Mm, yeah, I don't know about blow, just weed. I think. So but, how uh, long? Uh, how long did you wind up doing? Hmm? How long did you wind up doing? I did like four, three years, nine months. Jesus, what was the sen- the sentence was for fifteen years? Fifteen years, but I had to do thirty three percent of that. Yeah. So yeah. So that was the minimum was you mm-hmm. have to do. A third? And they happen to count that rehab time that I did a couple years. Like they count, yeah. they gave me that four months. Mm-hmm. That's good, Thanks, guys. Yeah, <laughs> worked out real well, didn't it? Appreciate it, Got guys. Cool, man. Yeah. <laughs> sure enough, right? We're talking about going to the hole. Yeah, why'd you yeah. go to the hole? Man, this is the best story. Well, when I fuck, I uh, oof, this is when shit got real, real. Like I would imagine being in prison. Right, with you the think that? But be I've been real. there for two years now, and like I was getting ready to see the board in a couple months, and I go to the, I, I put a MSR in medical service request. Yeah. And, uh, for what? And for, for my wisdom teeth. Oh, okay. And I knew it was going to be a long time until they got around to do it. But I was like, I got time. Mm-hmm. I was like, I'll, get, I'll enjoy some free dental while I'm here. Sure, yeah. And I'm going to get out eventually. Yeah. yeah. But, you know, I, start, I don't. Anyway, so I go to this dentist and up in Fest, you know, they drove me from Charleston, Missouri to Festus. There was like, a, I guess, wisdom teeth is a special procedure or something. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I got it. Okay, cool. So, you know, they do the whole handcuffing, you know, all that stuff and take me, you know. I got the. You got the Hannibal Lecter mask on? No, I got, but I look like a member of Slipknot. That's cool. Okay, I yeah. do have the jumpsuit, right? Yeah. Nice. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Anyway, yeah. So they take me out there. This dentist comes in. He's, he's fucking real. Fuck, dude, man. This guy he comes in. This guy over here. He comes in, and he's just got an attitude off the flip. And he gets in, and he, I'm a gagger, yeah. if you will. Yeah. You me know. too. Me too. Yeah. Yeah. Like I can Wieners. Do, I want to do it right now. No, but like I started gagging, and, they, and he, I guess I coughed or whatever, and he says like you, you know, you spit on me. He claimed I spit on him. You're oh. shitting me. There's a correctional officer right in front of me, you know, obviously, yeah. and he, you know, I mean, he looks like John, you know, Dan Connor. Yeah. You know, he's just kind of just sit. He's just sitting there, and there's no reaction out of him. And uh, you know, I'm all, Ooh, and he, yeah. Yeah, I, he had to go work on the other guy because he was pissed off at me. Wow. And I'm like, what the fuck is up with? You know, I'm all. Numb yeah. and stuff, yeah. and um, so this guy had an attitude when he saw you. He's right, like, "This right, is a criminal. Right. Fuck right. this guy." I don't know what his deal. Maybe, maybe not. Who knows? Right. Whatever. But he came was. off as an arrogant dude. Whatever it was, it, whatever, whatever it was, it, like, I look at Sioma. Like, he's like, he's like, it's fine. Co seemed like it's fine. The nurse was like, it's okay. I'm like, so okay. It wasn't an incident. Okay. Yeah, it was. A, it was a non-incident yeah. until we're on a ride back. It's like an hour drive. And they get a phone call, and he's like, "Yeah, what's your Baron? Yeah, Baron, what's your number?" I'm like, one zero nine six nine six four. He's like, okay. And I know that's not good. Yeah. They're not calling to check. Not a good sign. They're not yeah. calling. Is he okay? No, no, no. Yeah, so no. we get back to the camp, prison, and um, they uncuffed me from the front, and then they cuffed me to the back where they escorted me to the hole. Oh, my God. At, you know, administration segregation for, you know, technical for terms. How long? Okay, here we go with this. Where they charged me with a number two assault on staff. Okay, so that, yeah, that was an assault, technically. The only thing worse is a number one. You want to guess what number one is? Murder? murder. There you go. Yeah. Right. So, wow. so they get. So I, I, there I go. sit there for seven days. Up. They have seven days, or whatever, to, to team you, which is court, pretty much prison court. And yeah. they give me an inmate counsel, and you know it's a guy who's also locked up. So it's like, hey, why did they give you an inmate counsel? It's your right, I guess. But I'm like, so he, it's like you don't have the right to a guy. You want to talk about like someone's not good at their job? I don't want yeah. this guy. Obviously, clearly does not. So he's literally just an inmate. Yeah. He works in the law library and all that stuff. He's a legal clerk. They can, they can kind of, you know, you gotta understand. Guys have been in there for 25, 30 years. Yeah. They're yeah. gonna know some shit. You but, sure. But that's a, that's the workaround for you being having right. the right to uh, yeah. counsel. Oh is God. we'll give you this yeah. guy who works in the yeah. library. Right, right, right. Here comes. Holy yeah. Here fucking comes, shit. Here comes Southside. What the fuck? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yeah, check wild. it out, man. Here's what we're going hey, through. Hey, Memphis, come <laughs> over here, dog. <laughs> 
need to holler at you, man. What's up with this? Uh, uh, me me uh, approach that bitch. What's up with that legislation? <laughs> so, how, uh, uh, so they made me the violation. The white shirt, who's like the sergeant, whatever, and then his witness, the guy, this blue shirt, other CEO, is kind of, he's got to watch him, you know, there's a whole process of like liability stuff. So he's like, do you want a witness? I'm like, yeah, I'll take the, the correctional officer right there. He's like, he can't be. He's my witness doing this. I'm like, well, that sucks. He's playing both sides. That sucks a lot. Wait a minute. Why? So he was going to lie? Did he lie and say that he, he saw these? He, oh, he didn't say a goddamn thing, dude. And I'm like, <laughs> so... I sit there for seven days, and we don't need to get all. I mean, it's, yeah, yeah, so yeah. you're sitting in a fucking cell with a bathroom, let's say, yeah. with another person. That, right? Yeah, you know, so you, random. You don't get to pick. Are you by yourself? No, I'm no, with okay. the guy. So like, one, fortunately, dude. I well at the time it seemed fortunately I grew up with this kid. Oh wow. No, it was, but it ended you wound up, up going good. into the hole with the dude you grew yeah, up dude, with. Yeah, dude, really crazy. Fucking, really fucking oh, weird. And crazy. I had seen him. I had seen him. But what was even crazier? He was the creepiest motherfucker ever, dude. Oh, he no. was like. I'm gonna jerk off to nurses and uh, all this creep. All right, I'm like, I'm right. like, yeah, right. My kind of guy. <laughs> now that I know we're cool, I'm waiting for it to get creepy. <laughs> Here we are. You know, I like the party. Yeah. And um, so, blah blah blah. Seven days go by with fucking, you know, Gacy yeah. here. Yeah. And um, <laughs> so they fucking call me back to the, the little team of court. Mm-hmm. Three people. Blah 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 blah. You're guilty. Long story short, I'm like, yeah. I. I, I there's no argument. You know, it's them against. Well, it's, yeah, it's and then you're there's, you're a prisoner. Did you so try to like, say you know, I, I like to I like to object. Yeah, it's yeah. it's <laughs> like you arguing. Doing? It's like a fucking toddler arguing with fucking so you know. Yeah, who's you, watching you're fucked. Yeah. You are. Exactly. Fucked. Would you at least scream? This is a kangaroo court. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be the time to do it, wouldn't it? Yeah, or just start. Yeah, I had your mama. She wasn't that bad. <laughs> Whatever. Yeah. So just start yelling. Yeah. No, so they find me guilty. Then they they charge me with. 30 days referral to AdSeg, which meant I was going to go see this same board in 30 days, which meant they were going to refer me into another 30 days. I was getting ready to do a year in the hole. Wow. A year in the hole. They were going to charge How me. How is that request fucking... For pr- request oh for prosecution. Gosh. We're going to request for another case now. I mean, another charge. Okay. Another felony. And wow. removal of parole hearing. Oh, my God. Life just got real fucking weird. Oh, I, got, got, I mean, you want to talk about... That was my own personal... I guess this parole. was two years in at this point? Yeah, it was two years. No and violations. You, and no you violations, were close, by the way. And you were close to getting... I was two months before seeing the board. And I hadn't had a violation since being So there. you think that you would have gotten out in two months? Had this? No, no, no. I was still going to get out in a year. No, that was okay. just getting a date. We're going to get to that, though. I yeah. get out of the hole, though. But because, like, they find me... And, um... So I go and back to And then myself. I killed that dentist. You want to talk about never, you want to talk, like the only person I would like wouldn't mind watching yeah. weed eater go to their face would yeah. be this dentist. Yeah. I think. you know where he works, motherfucker. Uh, yeah, I thought you thought. <laughs> I'm not that far from it either. That's a, <laughs> man, man, I'm not a violent guy. You know, hey, you know, I, I, me. I'm not anti-dentist. Yeah. Just walk, just walk in and spit on him. Just do uh, the thi- do the uh, thing that you already got in trouble for anyway, and be like, that's double jeopardy. Okay, that's not so, how it works, Nate. But this throw okay, so this throws away your uh, your date for yeah. For that. Yeah. So, well, I was probably, but so they take a great. I go back to my cell. I'm just kind of like acceptance now, because that's all you can do yeah. at this point. What do you do? You're in a. And uh, I got my mom, because I don't have a phone. And um, she's in Colorado on vacation. She comes back. She happens to know the warden at, at this particular prison. She taught GED classes to prisoners with him, with the warden yeah. then at another prison. So really? it's fucking Mayberry. Yeah. Everybody the, the, knows this everybody. place is like three hours away from my house. Yeah, fucking strange. Yeah, right, but yeah, it's kind of like that. That world is like that. And uh, so she calls and she's like, I don't want you to necessarily get him out of trouble, but I want you maybe to look into it. Mm-hmm. You know, long story short, I think she sucked his dick. <laughs> no, I'm just not thinking about it. Or no, the no, dentist? That's no, how no. you get things done, that's yeah. Yeah, that's yeah. <laughs> but no, so they came, they called me back. I was in my cell, you know, because I've been there three weeks by this point. In solitary. Yeah, 21. Days. Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I counted. And uh, so, like, they call me back, and I'm like, why are they calling me back already? Mm-hmm. They call me, like, Mr. Baron, blah, blah, blah. The warden, blah, 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 has decided to overturn you. Blah, blah, blah. you know. wow. Whatever a born again Christian feels like, that's what I. Yeah. That's what it has. I'm like, Jesus. I was elated. Oh, oh, it turned it over in a good way. Yeah, Toward, yeah, yeah, Okay, yeah, yeah, I thought you meant yeah, the opposite. Yeah. Which, so, like, but, okay. Yeah. I. I'm so, fa- so I'm, like I'm, he threw the case out yeah, essentially. Yeah, he was, overturned okay, it. And okay. Threw it out. I'm okay. Like pardon. I'm so will. fascinated by the relationship that you had with the guy that you were in the hole with because you briefly touched on that. Because mm-hmm. you had to think in the back of your mind, oh shit, I know this guy. We got shit to talk about. Yeah. This, this ain't bad at all. We'll right. I love you. beating off at boy. nurses too. Right. His own boy. So you met him, you guys are talking, and then is there a moment when you go, oh God, this man's a fucking lunatic? Yeah, it's when he's jerking off at the nurse. 
Like, like do, who was in the room at no, the time? No, 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 I mean, you know, we'd be in the cell. Sure, right. You know, you got the little window and stuff yeah, like that. You know, yeah, yeah. Nurse come in, pass out meds yeah. and stuff like that, and he just puts it in stock. So it's like when she's in the room, it's not like as she's wing. walking it's away. Like wing, oh, yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. Wowzers. Yeah. He got out. Of, I mean, I think he went back. I mean, I mean obviously. Did he get in trouble for that? No, he got mur- but it was murder. He just went back recently, I think. He, like, he had a touch of the murder. Yeah. Oh, my God. You wake up and you want to shoot a motherfucker? Were you going to be in the hole for another year with him? No, 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 no. no. That's the other thing. It's like he could have been in there for, like, fighting or sure. anything for, like, two weeks or whatever. He was going to get out. You know, so it'd be like a... So yeah. you're on your own rotations. You're on your own it's like sentences. You, you just happen to land together. What do, you, yeah. what do you do? What do you do? When you're in there and there's literally nothing to do. Man, do how do? how bad does that fuck with your mind? You literally Being do nothing. Solitary. It's uh, it sucks. That's I insane. mean, do you do things like mentally? I'm gonna classify this. I'm gonna write a story. I'm gonna fucking do something. I mean, like you know what I'm saying? Like you it, just do shit. To you make got to, you make dice with your you make your cell. You know, hopefully you can sell. But like there's all sorts of stuff. You play make a uh, dice out of toilet paper. Is that what you did? You make yeah, dice? Yeah, yeah. Just play play some Yahtzee. Wow. You know, play uh, you know chess. Um, like that. But yeah, you know, we crazy in there. Hmm? That it drive you nuts? Yeah. Well, what okay. are you gonna do? You're there. Yeah. So. It's. I mean, it's just like it's people like I could never do it. I'm like, well, yeah, you could. I mean, yeah. you're we're humans. We yeah, the time does itself. Yeah, yeah. yeah. you, you just show fucking, up. If you're locked in a room. What do you do? You know, they feed you through. I mean, you, when there's no uh, options at all. Yeah. That's what you do. There's a comic out of Cincinnati, Jay. I can't remember his last fucking name, but he has a bit about that because he went to prison too for drugs. And the joke is, I everyone's always asking me, how did you do it? I could never do it. How did you do it? Well, it's pretty easy. They came to my house. They put me in a room I couldn't get out of. Like I always I, say something like, it's like, it's like camp. It's like a you know socialist camp. You know, you get everything given to you. you know, I got the yeah. uh, like cable. I can watch my own TV. You know, I had TV. Yeah. I had, I, I oh, had, had TV. Yeah, because okay, fortunately then, I have good, help. obviously I have good people. You know, and some I'm lower middle class, but yeah. So I was able to buy the amenities the way you can. Like oh really? Yeah, you get like so TV, you, I had TV. I had a CD player. I'd, did you really? I had the allotted wow. 20 CDs you we were allowed to have. So okay. you actually had a, a TV in your cell. Yeah, so in my cell we'd have like a little 13 inch see through. Those like you know. Were you in there with another guy? Oh yeah. Was he cool? Sometimes. Sometimes. Oh, so that was in your I, regular I, I cell. Had, I don't even know how many cellies I had. Maybe t- cellies, bunkies, 21. I mean, who even knows? Because really? It's, it's constantly. So not that was not solitary, though. Solitary, no, you didn't have a general, TV. That was your pretty, regular. Yeah, yeah, you'll get shit when you're in solitary. Okay. Yeah. But, see, I always find it crazy that a lot of times you got, like, they have TVs. Like, I don't know. I just don't picture that. I mean, I picture TVs in, like, a wreck area well, That's a whole industry in itself. I was going to say, I yeah. think that would be, like, a tool to keep sanity. Yeah. Oh, keep my everything, God. like. Together. Yeah, I mean, to, I, yeah, to a degree, it's just a pacifier. Talk about but, yeah. but being pacifier, an incentive to behave. Seriously. Exactly. Like, like if you're in prison, and, it's hey, a little community. I'm going to take little your little TV world. away. All right, okay, cool. Oh, they'll do that shit too. For yeah, 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 of course. Man. Yeah, you get those guys, a lot of guys doing that life without. Like, you wouldn't see a lot of sh- I didn't see a lot of crazy shit. I mean, I saw a lot of crazy shit, but like at lower level camps with like younger people, there'd be more fights and everything, but like you get like around like level five camps with like life without and stuff like that you got guys you just want hey man i'm just trying to be as comfortable as possible yeah. really i mean when you that's, I mean, that's because that's just your existence now yeah, yeah right you've been there 20 years it's just yeah. like this is my life i don't right. i'd rather stay as comfortable as possible sure they will but when shit does go down it'd be fucking crazy right so you're saying that you don't see as many like fisticuffs but you might see somebody bash a man's head in with a bar or some shit like that yeah 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 did totally. you? Did any of that shit ever happen when you were there? Like, not obviously. Yeah. To, it did. Like, yeah. you were stabbing there. Stabbing. Oh yeah, of course. Did I you mean, ever see any of the shit? Yeah. You saw a stabbing. For sure. Riots, stabbing. I mean, I mean, I say, I say like, yeah. Well, what do you? What did you do when you were in prison? But yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, what did you see? Like, give, tell me a stabbing. Where I was at was Charleston, so it was very. Uh, it was very. There's uh, predominantly black because it had all this. They try to put you somewhat geographically close to your family. So you got all St. Louis and Boot Hill people coming in where I was at. Yeah. I mean, was, yeah. So it was all. I saw like all bloods. It was all very, It was all uh, gang stuff. Oh bloods, shit. Bloods and cribs or whatever. La la mm-hmm. la. And then, or you'd get signs with some dude just had a gambling debt or had a drug debt. Yeah. Or, I don't, you know, I'm gonna stab a motherfucker. So it's all thrown into the same. But no one just wakes up and thinks I'm just gonna stab a motherfucker. It's always like there's some reason Soft for it. Or whatever. Yeah, yeah, exactly. How many stabbings did you see? Ballpark, two, three, five, I think, I mean, about three, four, probably. Right? Yeah. That's a. I don't know. That's a lot to see in the span of like two years, yeah. man. I was just, oh, yeah, just coming out of marching band. Yeah, yeah this is was. Wait, this is like. Yeah. But you did <laughs> almost. Transition. You did almost four years though, right? You yeah. said three years, nine okay, months. Four yeah. Years. The last year I did our work release. So you they saw one. Me from a oh, okay. One. Because they, they gave me my out date, which they gave me the year out date. Mm-hmm. So I went from a level five to a level one in like 
like that. So right. Okay. The, then, did you see the stabbings was, on level five or level yeah, one? Level five. You saw the stabbings? Oh, yeah, yeah. When I did level one, like when I did work release, now I'm around the people. Now I'm in, I'm in with DUIs. Sure. Child yeah. support. The every right. man. Yeah, more. me, where I should have went originally. Yeah. Was that yeah. a huge fucking weight off your chest, too? <laughs> when? When you dropped to a one. Oh, yeah, for sure. Well, I, and also I had a date. I now oh, knew. Oh, yeah, that I was that, too. Yeah. I, I, had, I had something like, because. Before that, I was pretty sure I was going to get an outdate, but nonetheless, it's like you don't know. And yeah, still. But it's still a long time. I've still been yeah. there for like three years by that point. God damn, I was jailing like a motherfucker. Did you know if they fixed that? Fix what? Where if you the don't legal have an system? Out, no. You, no, no, no. But where if you don't have an outdate, they just put you in five. You know if they fixed that? I bet that, they still do it. That but seems like I bet something. They still do it. But, but most prisons anyway, a lot of them are control movement anyway. Like they, they're all ran the same, similar now. But I bet that's still something similar. They have. I don't know. I don't. That's just man. Yeah, I don't think. It'd go, yeah, I don't think anything. I mean, they're getting ready to kick motherfuckers out left and right because they're getting ready to just overhaul deal. You know, just prisons and everything. Right. Right now? Oh yeah, I mean, it's, well, it means well, good. Good. It's what we're saying, like, with, like the money's not in prisons anymore. Yeah. But, like, mm-hmm. so now we, we can't yeah. afford it either. It's for, for like forty five thousand dollars a year for every, for each person in, yeah. incarcerated. Way more than I ever fucking made. The, I mean, we have what is it, twenty five percent of the world's prison population, but we yeah. only are five percent of the world. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. That's insane. It's funny how that happens when you financially incentivize companies to do that. Yeah. One in four white mm-hmm. men are incarcerated, where one in I mean one in four black men yeah. are incarcerated, where one in eighteen whites mm-hmm. are yeah. incarcerated. Yeah. Yeah. I mean I obviously there's no reason I should have went to prison. I was a there's no reason. I was my like I said, I grew up great family. Right, right. There's, right. I was a spoiled brat. I, I was like, you're. A, I was a knucklehead. I when I got to prison, I was like, oh shit. I saw dudes. I'm like, oh, this was the card you were dealt. You had sure. no choice. Mm-hmm. You were coming. Right. I was a tutor for like GED classes and stuff like that. And dude, mother, Jesus Christ. Yeah. You see guys that can't point out a G on the alphabet, but they'll, but these dudes will come back and play spade and just run you down through it. Oh sure, yeah, 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 or, yeah, man. yeah. yeah well, or poker. I play a lot of poker. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And, I don't know. That seems like you're flirting with disaster, though. Kind with of gambling. Yeah, you, you're right. You're right. It is. But you're right. It can very. It can very. I mean, but because you either owe a guy a lot of money or you, nah, you got another guy's again, money. Again, it's like out here. It's just like credit. I mean, if you're good for it, if you do good business, it's yeah. again, it's what you make of it. If you, you know, there's you hear you don't hear about all the times people do play. You hear about the yeah. times motherfuckers. Sometimes it goes bad. Yeah. yeah, we yeah. sit there for years, just nothing happens. Were know, you playing for sure. cigarettes? What, what were you guys we playing for? for? I mean. Stamps, but you you know you, stamps or uh, packs of cigarettes were money, mm-hmm. but it, that you would you could buy stuff with that. Like I can go to the that store. That was man, legitimate like, hey, let me, currency. Let me get some zingers for fucking la la la. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. Or you could, or you gamble or sports betting. That was another big thing in there. What was the store like in prison? Like the yeah in canteen or yeah because yeah, you got the store you got the store man and the yeah. store man is like the guy in the wing like if you ain't got nothing until canteen day I got you. Oh, About one and you. a half. Yeah. You know, the interest. You yeah, know? yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, 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 yeah. Um, store? Fucking loan fine. shark. It was the shit. Just imagine, the, just imagine a gas station. Was it literally like a walk in store or you was it like a con- counter? Yeah, yeah. And they, they'd fuck, you know, sh- throw your shit out there to you. Okay. They had like all little hostess, you know, all you know, hostess, yeah. all little Debbie stuff, uh, yeah. peanut butter, ramen noodles, of course, you yeah. know, clothes, you know, socks, anything, you know. Weird stuff. Uh, picture frames, uh, picture, you know. Buy picture tickets, so you can get like you know picture with like yourself and have it sit home, or you can have a picture oh. with like uh, you know your in your visit. Now they have tablets where now they can email motherfuckers. Mm-hmm. Wow! They, they char- I'm sure they still charge out the ass. Yeah, it's oh, like God. Disney you, with the pictures. You, you can download song. I'm like mm-hmm. they and they actually gave all the tablets to the Missouri, you know incarcerated because that's the indus- that industry right there. Phone calls, yeah. and emails, they're all racking and visits, iPad twos. They're FaceTiming <laughs> with each other. I mean, yeah, yeah, they're on fucking Zooms. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's exactly what. It's, yeah, for sure. <laughs> Is it uh, time for the show? Yeah, to it looks start? like the yeah, mic's about to start. Long story short, I did a year, and uh, they, I was released uh, what, what, seven or eight, yeah, eight years ago. Okay. I was released. I got an early release. I got out. I, I was on parole for three years, and then I didn't cause any problems. And bada boom, bada bing. Cool. All right, let's talk. Uh, let's talk more after this. Yeah. yeah. Well, this was fucking. Oh, okay. This is dope. Yeah. That's all. Yeah. No. Until the movie just sort of ends.
This has been a Walter Freeman production. Meow, meow, motherfucker.